Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at using the fillet tool in SolidWorks and workarounds for tricky and problematic fillets. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at blending out fillets in the surrounding geometry that create a smoother transition than what the standard fillet tool can give us. So here I need to add a fillet to this edge, but I was a unable to add the fillet. I had a fail to create fillet option. The reason being is that this fillet is ending tangentially in this uh, cylindrical shape, so SolidWorks is probably unable to extend faces in this area to properly terminate the fillet. However, using some workarounds, we can get that fillet and also have a nice blended transition into the surrounding geometry. So here is an example of a sand cast part that was inspired by an actual part we had done for a client. And I need to add a fillet to this edge. I need a quarter inch fillet and when I try to apply the fillet and I'm, I'm unable to. So what I'm going to do here is I have a good idea that the fillet's probably having some problems here. I can't stop this fillet here. So what I'm going to do is using a sketch on the top plane, I'm going to actually extrude this shape into the model. So if we take a look here, I just have added some lines between vertices and I've extruded that into the model. And what this gives me is this new face here that I've highlighted in blue. And what this face does is provide an easy stop for the fillet. So here the fillet's easily able to stop on this face, whereas before I extruded the block to the model, it tried it had to stop here at this face. It's a great technique for stopping fillets in the model. But I need to clean up this geometry here. Obviously I need to add this, this smooth transition. I don't want to have this um, hard block in the model. So what I'm going to do now is use the split line tool. So here split line is used. I have a sketch on the top plane and actually I probably should have uh, locked this down a little bit with some dimensions. And Here I've sketched a spline and I've made it tangent to uh, this edge and I've made it tangent to this um, piece of helper geometry, this, this line here. So what the split line tool does is take this sketch, project it onto this face and split this face into two with the sketch uh, that I've created. So here I have this new edge on the model that was not previous before the split line. So what I'm doing with split lines is outlining a new or an area for this uh, for this blend. So here I've created another split line. It's on the the front construction plane. It's just a line made coincident with this vertice of where the bottom fillet ends. So if we look at our model, I now kind of have this uh, outline area that I can uh, create a transition between. So previously we've used delete face to with the delete and fill option here. Unfortunately I can't use it here. If I was to try delete and fill with the tangent fill, everything looks pretty good, but the problem being is that this is the parting line here and that these faces are drafted three degrees opposite to this. So there's actually a six degree difference here. So if I was to look at the uh, draft analysis If we look here, I've actually created this undercut here, especially if we go down to zero. Note that the parting line, the difference between green and red, is not correct in this area. So if I use delete face, I'm going to use delete tool. What this is doing is actually deleting those faces from the model, and it's turned what once was a solid body into a surface body. Note that I can now see into the model. If I was to section the model, it has no thickness. But I can use the surface fill tool, which is what delete face is actually doing in the background to complete this blend. The reason I use surface fill here is that surface fill gives me the control of how I want edges to end. Do I want them to be tangent or alternately do I want them to be contact? So let's just clear these selections and create this again. Instead of manually picking all these edges, which uh, can be a little tedious, what I can do is right click any edge and select open loop. This will go around and grab all of the edges. Here it's important to note that the first edge I pick is going to actually be the first edge 
in, in the selection box here. And it's going to go around in a clockwise fashion. So now I know that these two bottom edges, if I zoom in here, we can see that I've, I've selected them. Those want to be contact. They only touch the parting line. They don't want to be tangent to these uh, two faces. But I know the rest of them want to be tangent, so I'll use hold down shift to select all of them. Hit tangent, and that will apply the tangent to all of the edges if required. What I want to do now is hit merge result. What merge result is going to do is knit this face into the model. And I also want to check try to form solid. What this will do is take my surface body and turn it into a solid body. Note that before the surface fill, the surface body's folder was open. After the surface fill, there is no um, surface body. I now have a solid. Let's just second through the model to confirm that. Yep, solid geometry. So I also note that if we roll back, this was the starting point or the ending point of our last video where I had split the, the model in half at the parting line. And this technique was used to clean up these faces and not have that little sliver that I previously had. I was able to add this fillet in the model that I previously had problems with and I created a nice smooth blend here of this fillet and this fillet that uh, smoothly connect to this cylindrical shape. So here I'm creating new faces in the model that help end the fillet. These faces in green and they're created with an extrude feature. I'm now outlining the area of my fillet transition with the split line tool. I'm using delete face to remove those faces from the model. The only reason I'm doing this is because delete and fill can't be used here because I need to set contact to those two bottom edges on the parting line. Here I'm using surface fill to fill in that boundary, making note that the two edges here are contact to the parting line and not tangent. So thanks for watching this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn and YouTube where we'll be announcing new videos in the series.